I think the university's example is a really fascinating one because you talk in the book about the fact that now women are a majority on two thirds of college courses in the US. Mm -hmm. And you know, I've also seen you saying, would well, you believe in equality of opportunity but not equality of outcome? Maybe women. It isn't only that I don't believe oh. in equality of outcome. I think it's an unbelievably pathological wish and doctrine. Right, and it's but okay. dangerous. History has demonstrated exactly how dangerous it is. Equality of opportunity is something that anyone with any sense would support, but equality of outcome, it's. So what's you your have problem to be with there not being beyond belief to, to to support equality of outcome? Okay, so what's your problem with there not being enough men in the social sciences? Perhaps women are just cleverer. Perhaps that's why there are more women at university, Could right? Be. Under your doctrine, I don't think that, but that's well, I think the logical the extension I have of your doctrine. It isn't the fact that there's an unequal distribution. The problem I have with it is that the reason that men are bailing out is because of the prevalence of the doctrine that you're espousing. That's the problem I have with it. It doesn't matter that much. They will bail out. I don't see any way that the universities are going to redeem themselves in the next decade.